get tells the people that are listening, like on top of basketball yeah. and academics, like what else a kid can bring to get on your all's radar. You have to you have to love like to play. I mean, as a basketball coach, I want to coach guys who who love to play. And everyone might say, "Oh, I'm, I think I'm a Division One player. That, that's that's where I want to be at." But it's like, do you do you really love it? Because you have to 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 get to that to that level. Um, you have to want to get in the gym by yourself. Like it's great to get in with your trainer. It's great to get in with an assistant. It's great to get in with me, but you have to be willing to get in by yourself and, and get up 200 shots between class. Like, again, it comes back to, to what, what do you want to get out of this game? Um, and I think that that's really important. And it's, that's something I say that a lot of kids can't answer a ninth grade, a 14, 15, 16 year old kid. They just they love to play, which is great. Um, but do you really love all? Do you love all aspects of it? Do you love doing things that you you don't necessarily you're not good at doing right now? Like that that's part of it. Um, I mean, but it all comes back to like your motor and how much you love to play and how much you're willing to get better. Um, so it's really it's finding those guys and and trying to get some of those questions answered when they're here on campus and and maintaining having those discussions and it's not just one discussions one it's not just one chat on the phone it, it's multiple um so it, it's not it's it's never easy and and kids nef- definitely do have choices nowadays um, which is great and it's definitely helped the prep game and it's helped a lot of kids um so it's it's also finding the kids who who see Loomis as a place that they really want to be at